Alrighty, we have just completed the Cave of Ordeals, and as reward, we now have fairies available at the spring for each province, so if you can get them for free, you could run up to a fairy and just swipe it in a bottle. Also cool is that now there is a great fairy at each one of these, um, you know, province springs as well, and they will fill up your bottles with fairy tears anytime you speak with them, so that's sweet. This is the best potion in the game, along with rare true jelly, which is the exact same thing, so this is awesome. The only catch is that they will only do it if you currently don't have any fairy tears. The only way to have multiple bottles of fairy tears is to complete the cave four deals again. Kind of ironic, since the most useful place to have fairy tears is actually within the cave of ordeals. <laughs> Also, now that we have completed it for the first time, every time you enter the Cave of Ordeals from here on out, some of the rooms will be a little harder. Most of them are the exact same, but some of them have, like, more enemies or they have a harder variety of the same enemy, so it's a little bit harder this time around. One of the other differences is that, you know, the postman can be found in random places throughout the game trying to find recipients of some of his letters, and one of those random places you can find him is actually in the final floor of the Cave of Ordeals, just above the Great Fairy Spring. So, um, you know, he's only there after you've completed it at least once. So if you ever go back to the Cave of Ordeals, keep a lookout for the postman. Anyway, we have been gathering, you know, we gathered three postals that were within the Cave of Ordeals, so if you've been following the walkthrough thus far, that means you should have collected all 60 postals found in the entire game. You want to enter Castletown as a wolf, and go to the south end of town, and go into the alley with all the cats, and you can use your senses to see a hole in the side of the wall here that you can use to get into Giovanni's house. Once you have all postals collected, go ahead and speak with Giovanni to break the curse on him once and for all. I think he actually looked kind of cooler when he had a little pudge on him. His victory cry still sounds like he has some, too. Ah, oh, well, he's very excited that his luck seems to be going right for a change, and as thanks for helping him out, as he promised, he'll then give you a present. A silver rupee, which is worth 200. Kind of sad, since we're probably pretty full right about now, kind of like all the time. <laughs> After feeling his face for a little while, he'll then run off in search of his girlfriend. With that, all that's left to do is to head to Hyrule Castle. You want to go ahead and leave Castletown, transform back into your Hylian form, and run on over to Malamart so we can fill up on arrows and bombs before venturing onto the final area of the game. If you stop at Telmas Bar at this point, you can actually find Giovanni crying at a table because his girlfriend apparently has moved on and begun dating another man. After that, you can go back to Giovanni's house and speak with his cat, Jangle. The furball will say that humans are fickle and only care about money, so he will then give you another silver rupee whenever you are low on cash, since they don't need the rupees anymore. Now for those of you who have played Ocarina of Time, you've probably noticed that the postals were very similar to the Gold Cthulhu's, in particular with this final prize, which is unlimited rupees. You just continually go in there and you can get these 200 rupee amounts. Unlike Ocarina of Time, however, which didn't have a way to take advantage of this, Twilight Princess accomplishes this through the use of the magic armor. This is particularly nice in the attempt to complete the Cave of Ordeals repeatedly, because you use rupees in place of hearts, essentially. You use it to extend your life. So that concludes all of this Cave of Ordeals and Postal stuff. With all of our items stocked up, we are finally ready to tackle Hyrule Castle. We'll run up to the gates to initiate this sweet cutscene of taking down the barrier that surrounds it. That concludes this chapter, so thank you for joining me, and I will see you guys within Hyrule Castle.